And now, we can live another one of those, so maybe we don't get poisoned. And welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. My name is Actor Kamir here in episode 30. And in the last episode, we made our way to the final lake, saw Nolan get his ass handed to him, and then decided to go to the storage room in Veilstone to try and get through to the headquarters of the Team Galactic headquarters. And now we are going to be going and actually heading into the headquarters to take on Cyrus, save the lake Pokemon and all that kind of stuff. So if you're excited for all of that, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and you'll catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But without further ado, let's go and beat up some more Team Galactic Grunts. All right, so we've gotten through the storage area. Let's go and continue on to the main headquarters area, because we have the Galactic Key now, so... We should be good to go. Ooh, a bunch of... Oh, no, that's the backwards teleporter, apparently. The one that brings us back to the beginning. That makes sense. Um, yeah, shorts sure, were getting hundreds of views. They were. Yeah, I, I would love to be able to do more. It's just they take a, a lot more time to be able to, um, you know, get... To, to, to get um, everything ready for them um, because I have to add, like, subtitles and all that stuff, which is time-consuming. Cons time but um, I definitely want to get back into doing those more. So hopefully we'll be able to, I'll be able to find some time to be able to put them together. Because I've been, you know, I've been, uh, I, I think I told, I was talking about it in one of the previous streams that I have been working on some speech recognition software to try and um, auto-generate some subtitles to at least give myself a basis. Um, I've been doing a lot of programming to kind of like take all of the clips um, as much as possible while I'm editing the ones that I think are possible intro moments and basically take all of those, um, find where in the video um, all of those clips are and basically be able to uh, pull the audio into Audacity automatically and just kind of be able to use Audacity to listen through these subtitles and edit whatever the auto-generated subtitles are. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on all that crap, so um, hopefully that will work out and will speed up my... Uh, process of creating the uh, actual shorts themselves, so we'll have to see, though. Um, I, ha I haven't had a chance to do any of that stuff because um, I was on vacation uh, and, and was doing traveling and didn't have any of my desktop set up, and I did have most of it, like, most of the code where I would actually be doing the audio, um, the, which we'll call it, the subtitling on my laptop, which I could bring, but um, I just didn't have time. There was, we were doing so much. Uh, we ended up uh, officially getting our, uh, my fiance and I officially got our location um, contract set up for where we're going to be having the reception for our wedding, which is very, very exciting. Um, and then we also found out the hotel slash hotels that we're going to use um, to, you know, have people who are coming in from far away. Uh, and then we also have um, the, we also figured out um, the church that we're going to be having the ceremony in. So we, we did a lot of work with, you know, wedding stuff. We also saw some friends. Unfortunately, one of those friends ended up having COVID. And we, we already went over that, but, um, it, yeah, it was, uh, it was a very, very fun-packed, but also exhausting, uh, trip. So I didn't really have any time to, uh, do some subtitling of clips, unfortunately. But now I've got a couple more days at, uh, home until I have to go back to work and... I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to work because of uh, the COVID situation with my fiance, but um, we'll see. Uh, at the very least, I probably could work from home. But um, now that now that I'm going to be I'm home for the next couple days, it will probably be a little bit easier to uh, have some time to do that kind of stuff. So. All right, let's see, go back to the front. Roll that again. All right, we can go into uh, let's go into which Uh, CS. 
because we've got a good ice type move now that we can use on this guy pretty easily. Also, we resist dark type moves. Ice type or uh, poison type moves are neutral on us, so there's that. But bite, nah. gonna do nothing. All right, let's do avalanche. Oh, he's faster. Than me. Oh no, quick guard has priority. Never mind. Uh, that only guards against moves that have priority. So, because Avalanche doesn't, doesn't matter. Ha ha ha, idiot. I don't know why you're trying to block yourself from moves that I don't have, but I appreciate you not actually doing anything to hurt me or in hinder my chances of, you know, beating, beating you up and making you faint. Alright, Silcoon. Ah. Uh... We'll switch into Burbraptor for this. I would switch into Horus, but he's poisoned, so I'm gonna pull off and just use Burbraptor. We haven't used Burbraptor. No, we have. Never mind. Uh, it, it had been a while because he was in the box, but we used him in one of the very recent battles, once or twice. All right, let's see. Um, let's do Aerialis here. Good. Nice. All right. We defeated the Galactic Grunt. I want to try and get through this headquarters as quickly as possible. Uh, we're going to have to fight against Cyrus and, like, do a bit pretty big battle. And then he's going to go off and F off into the uh, Mount Coronet to go, you know, bring Dialga back and all that. So hopefully we'll at least get through this, the Cyrus battle in this episode. We'll have to see, though. So many poisonings. Poor Horus has been poisoned and poisoned and poisoned again. Alright, good. And... Is there anything else I need to... Oh, Galactic Key. I want to get rid of these uh, exclamation points. They're bothering me. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Um... Should we, be getting, we probably should be getting held items to some of them on, shouldn't we? Eh, we'll hold off for now. Uh, let's go talk to this dude. Hello. I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. Okay. Well, I'm gonna prepare to be disrupted, Darius. Sorry, bud. Kadabra. Well, we can send in CS for this perfectly fine. And then use Thief. It'll be great. Especially because he's about to use extra sensory. I'm predicting it. He's gonna use extra sensory right here. Ah, oh, you jerk. Ah, I thought thought I was predicting. Darn it. Ah, uh, man. Oh well. I'm not as uh, you know, clairvoyant as I thought I was, which is ironic, all things considered. Ooh, almost kill him one shot, even with the reflect up. All right, one more. Do the trick. Let's just use uh, one of our weaker moves, I guess. Oh, let's just make Metal Claw. We'll kill eventually. There we go. I was worried it would miss, especially because it's not 100% accuracy to begin with, and we use Kinesis, but we got him first time. I guess it's probably still above 50% uh, accuracy, but that seems to be a, a myth when it comes to me playing. I know it's confirmation bias, and it actually is, you know, a good chance that I would have hit anyway, but it doesn't feel like it. And that's really what matters. Does it really feel like it? Yeah, let's go over here, because I bet this is where we get the Pokeball. No? Oh, nope. Okay, that seems to be the right way to go, so... We'll go up here next. Oh, this is a completely dead end. Um... Let's look at our... I don't know what the order is for these, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Anything around here? Oh, uh... uh, it's in the other... Wait, what? Really? I think I've been there before. Huh. Alright, well, let's go over here and try this one. Maybe this will transfer us to the one with the Pokeball. 
Oh, it's a bedroom. How oh, can I get it? Can I rest here? Yes, beautiful. All right. That's good. Now we know where the restroom is. <laughs> that sounds like bathroom, but it's not. Um, eh, we'll fight these guys. Why not? We're going to go down all the paths. We should just do that. Good. Stunky. Um, you're dark poison, so... Eh, we'll just fight you. Why not? Little two shot, and we'll get toxic poison. It's fine. Oh, Venom Shock this time. We're gonna get hit by an actual attack and then get poisoned. We didn't get poisoned. That never happens. We always get poisoned first turn. Even when it's a move that's not from a uh, Stunky. Oh, there's the aftermath. All right. Well, I'm glad we didn't get poisoned that one time. Yay. Crocunk. Fighting poison. Uh, Psychic would be quite effective on that thing. Let's go into Rogan. Now, we haven't used Rogan today. That's kind of crazy. Rogan's so good. I mean, look at him balancing on one toe, or one foot, on its toes. Savvy. Ah, you... Sucker punched me. This is what you get. How dare you sucker punch me. I wasn't expecting it. Hence the definition of sucker punch. Alright. Cool. Alright, now you. There are a lot of grunts in here. Oh, boy. And they're all the same. They're all the freaking same. Screw it. We're just going... Flame wheel. It'll probably two-shot as opposed to one-shotting, but with the... Oh, it one-shot. Okay. Beautiful. <sighs> this is just so much easier. I wonder how much longer we have on the egg. It's been a little while now. We've been walking around a lot. Um, Rogan. We'll do Drain Punch. Heal him up again. Why not? Right? He's got a little bit of uh, health missing. We can fix that with Drain Punch. It'll be great. Oh, don't worry, Rogan. You'll do just fine. I believe in you. Now heal yourself up and make yourself feel better. There you go, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Way to go, bud. Way to go, Rogan. See, you didn't have to worry at all. Stunky. Uh... Go back to you. Maybe Avalanche will do good damage here. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, Avalanche is fine, I guess. Oh, how dare you bite me first? Oh, it was a crit, too. I was gonna say, that did a lot more than I thought it would do, considering it's not very effective. I keep forgetting that this, these things have uh, aftermath. It's a really bad move for or uh, ability for it to have, especially in a uh, mon that almost every single grunt has. So you keep getting hit with the aftermath every single time. It's annoying. Oh god, ah, that's a lot of teleporters. Um, I think this is the correct way. So, well, this this general path is the correct way. Really? There's nothing here? It's a complete dead end? What does the continued flashing mean? I don't understand. Oh, maybe if it continues flashing so you can see where it is once it, you get out of the watching. That's interesting. I don't know why that panel didn't work just now, but... Whatever. <gasps> what a... Or a... Water bottle? What the heck was I gonna say water bottle for? 
Pokeball. Not exactly the same thing, but, you know. I guess Water Bottle. Let's see. Here. And... I'm thinking this is the right way to go? Yep, it's the right way to go. Now, let's open up this door real quick. Good. Alright, so now we know the correct way to go. Let's go back and uh, explore the other avenues. Should be fun. Alright, so farthest one in the three war panels is the correct one. Go back down. Uh, go back through here. We'll heal up again before we go and take on Cyrus. Alright, room with the scientist in it is the correct way to go. Go here. And over here. Good. Aha! There we go. Max revived. Beautiful. Now, we can go back. Oh. I got really confused for a second because I looked away for a second and then looked back and it like faded and... I don't know. Timing was off. I was confused. Very, very confused. Alright, this is another one where... Huh. Alright, whatever. Still don't understand the point of that room, but I guess it's just supposed to be a dead. So now let's go heal real quick and then take on Cyrus. Uh, just gonna take a quick nap and then uh, go fight the uh, leader of this building. Or this organization. Okay, gonna take a quick nap in a bed in a uh, corporate office. Uh, that they some for randomly have, and then I'm gonna go fight the CEO. It's just a normal day in Pokemon, am I right? <laughs> Alright. Good stuff. Um, we should probably at least put one more Mon on the team and get rid of this egg for now. Let me see the summary. Um, doesn't seem close to hatching. Alright, whatever. Let's get, uh... Amy back on the team. We already have a water type. Actually, also put Patrick on the team also. In place of Oscar P. We need we need a bit more of a heavy hitting team, so we'll go with these two. Hello. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expected to see that in the trainer that train the trainer is a mere child. I'd heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. Hmm, that's me. I know where you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mech, Sprit, and Alzalf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still you came to rescue them, out of pity? Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying your heed with, to your heart. I bet you won't, but we'll see. It's possible that you might force me to at least use a revive here. Although with only three mons. Murkrow. Dark fly. Um, we can go with Amy. Let's go with Amy. That'll be fine. I was gonna say we could also go with uh, CS, but Amy's stronger, and we get the intimidate off, so it'll lower its attacks. Taunt. That's fine. Just means I can only attack, which is fine by me. Switch. So that does fixed damage. It's a level 40, apparently. Right, cool. This will probably get rid of the taunt switching out. Um, let's switch into. Hmm. Let's go into. Uh, let's go into Patrick. We haven't seen Patrick today. Why not? Golbat. 
All right, let's go into, uh, not Amy, we'll go into CS for this. All right, go CS! You got this, bud. Take him down. Take down this Golbat. You got this. Avalanche. So it's gonna outspeed, it's gonna do damage to us. Doesn't kill. And we get a, uh, a supercharged avalanche on this thing. Because we took damage. Oh, so close. And a poison. Uh, will we get killed by another poison thing? I don't think we will. Um, let's just do... Eh, might as well do another avalanche, right? Oh, perfect. Um, we might kill here? No, it's too much. Let's go back right where it was, though. We get it to waste another. Ah, uh, we should heal. Ah, the poison. Damn. Forgot about the poison. Um, let's go. Um. Hmm. We'll go with energy powder, right? That does 60. Yeah, we're good there. So we'll get our cells healed up with an energy powder. Then next turn we'll do the poison. Actually, maybe we should switch out. Oh, use another super potion. We're beating out, out all the super potions at least. Alright, that turn worked well. Now we'll get rid of the poison this turn. He'll probably poison fang us again and we'll get poison again. And then I'll be really angry and have to switch out. But for now, let's assume we don't get poisoned. Alright. Poison fang. Go. All right, we didn't get poisoned. Another energy powder. And now we can live another one of those, so we don't get poisoned. This is ridiculous. F it, I'm fighting. Avalanche. Oh, it's lowered my defense. Stop that! This guy's annoying. Oh, why don't... What am I doing? Let me just go into Pat. He's a steel type now. Duh. Alright, we're doing that. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Come on, Patrick. Just take this stupid idiot out. With his big mouth and his stupid poison fanging, poisoning me all the time. Very angry. Yeah, F you. Shoot out speed. Uh, let's just do... Actually, Aqua Jet. Perfect. Goodbye. I swear, if it had quick guarded me, I was going to be very uh, upset. Because I know these things have can have quick guard. Ah, uh, Home Claws. No. Uh, Sneasel. Dark and Ice. Fighting should be quite effective. Brain Punch. That'll be great. All right. Hi, my last Pokemon. Indeed. All right, battle Drain Punch. Does he not speed me, really? It's kind of annoying. That's fine. Drain Punch means he'll now uh, heal us up. So it's like we never attacked him. Doink. Goodbye. Take that, Cyrus. Not nearly as difficult as you thought you were. <laughs> Interesting. I'm quite curious. Hmm. Interesting indeed. I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your Pokemon is your compassion towards Pokemon. I'm oh, sorry, your <laughs> the basis of your Pokemon. No, the basis of your power. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless and sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Ooh, thanks. Neat. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Black members, I don't use Pokemon's tools. 
Instead, I make the power of my Pokemon my own. Hmm. Cool. Good for you. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct. Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. We'll ascend the mountain to its peak, and then put an end to everything. No. I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Okay. Neato. Um, this is the warp panel we need to use, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go save the lake Pokemon. Hello. I cooperated with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. Whoa. What are all these random floating rocks and green goo? Can't say anything in our defense, but the thing we made, what is it going to be used for? I don't know. You, you came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your ins insulting me at the lake. Oh crap, I fight you too. <sighs> Alright, one more. How am I, GameCube? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, just, uh, hoping to get through this so we can, uh, take on, uh, I guess Cyrus and Mount Cornet and the 8th Gem. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be streaming, but, uh, you're shiny hunting. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, what are you shiny hunting for? I'm thinking about doing some shiny hunting on my channel at some point as well. Ooh, uh, Kadabra, we'll go with... Oh, you're poisoned still. Ah, mm. uh, we'll go into you anyway. Why not? Eh. He's probably going to use a psychic technique anyway, so it's fine. I don't think he has anything other than Psychic Technique. Oh, Reflect. Great. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Bag. Will you... Uh, let's use the Antidote. He can't do any damage to us, so... There we go. A Shiny Mew or a Shiny Pete. Oh, nice! It rhymes and everything. Um, let's go into... Rogan for this. Oh, no, I can't run through this battle. Okay, um, yeah, we'll go into you. Good. He's probably going to use a fighting type move, which will be resisted here. Yep, there we go. Nothing. Beautiful. Um, side. Beat. Goodbye. Ooh, wow, he didn't kill, huh? Why do all of them have poisoning moves out the wazoo? It's just super cool. Um, but yeah, getting back to GameCube's uh, comment, uh, uh, Shiny Mew is very pretty. I like, I like the the blue. It looks, looks really nice. Kadabra. Yes, we uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill that thing pretty easily uh, in the near future. But uh, for now, we have to take on a Toxic Cloak. He's being very intransigent and annoying. And me. And he's dead, so it's fine. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Looking for another one. Ooh, reversal. Let's see. Uh, do I want to learn that? Uh, no, do not. I don't like moves that have, uh... Damage that are ba that's based on how much HP I have, because I like to have my HP high. Um... Let's see, Kadabra, we'll switch into CS. I don't think he can do anything to us, so... He can just use um, Thief and not have to worry. Or it'll just randomly have some sort of strong type move uh, that'll take us down and then we'll have to switch him to another Pokemon. Really? Again? <sighs> Bronzor. Uh, Steel, Psychic. Oh, this is also Psychic. This is fine. Um, I should heal, though, here, because it's probably going to have a Steel-type move. So we'll go Energy Powder and get ourselves up to full. Um, you ran accidentally? Oh, from a Shiny? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst feeling. Oh, crap, Steel is super effective on us. Fine. Um, Horus, you can do this. Oh, that! I am so sorry. 
<laughs> that sucks, GameCube. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, well, hope eventually you'll find another one. I'm sure. Ah, uh, that that that's painful though. Bronzor, goodbye. Now I'm switching into frickin' CS, and he can't do anything about it anymore. He's got no other mons, so... Just go into CS, and we take him down with a frickin' thief. Oi. Oh boy. Alright. Let's try this a third time. Thief. Die. There we go. Finally. <laughs> oh boy. Took you long enough. Goodbye. You're tough, kid, but I still pity the likes of you. Well, your boss was saying that pity is not something you should do, so... Uh, maybe you shouldn't pity me. Gah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. I was planning on it. Would I like to press the button? Yeah. Duh. There we go. Bye. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from those three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Well, I know what he's planning to do up there. He's planning on going and helping out Dialga. Or gr grabbing Dialga. But then he's not going to be able to because Dialga is too strong and I'm going to have to catch it. And then he's just gonna kinda F off at the end. Was that not the right way to go? Were we supposed to head out? Oh, there we go. This was the right way. Neat. Alright, so we took on the headquarters of Team Galactic, and now we have to go over to Mount Coronet, don't we? So I think we will do that in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun with it. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And you'll catch every single episode of not only this series, but every other series on the channel as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.